Can you imagine your toes being kept cozy and warm all winter long, or distributed and kept at a constant temperature when it's cold outside? Sit back and relax as we walk you through the comfort and energy advantages of installing an in-floor solar-powered radiant heat system in a home. The system we most often install uses the thermal mass of adobe, concrete, brick, and tile floors as storage mediums, has very few components, controls itself, and is powered entirely using the energy of the sun. One thing to note, in-floor heating can also be designed to work off an in-home hot water heater. We've created them for some families, but have chosen to feature the most sustainable option for this information video using only solar energy. The distribution system in the floor is the same as any other hydronic radiant floor, meaning loops of PEX tubing embedded in the floor at a shallow depth and split up into sensible zones, but instead of using a gas-fired boiler, electric zone valves, electronic controls and thermostats, elements which could fail and will not work at all should the grid utility power go out, we only use an array of hydronic solar collectors filled with a frost-free, non-toxic glycol solution that is pumped through the entire floor using a low-power brushless DC pump, which is driven by its own small solar panel. Here's the breakdown of how this system works. When the sun shines, the pump slowly turns itself on, while the liquid in the collector heats up. As soon as the sun starts disappearing, due to clouds or simply because it is the end of the day, the pump slows down and eventually turns itself off entirely. The mass of the floor is an ideal heat storage medium that doesn't take up any extra space in your house. The time lag of the heat being stored in the floor, which reaches its highest temperature two to three hours after the sun has gone around the bend, and just when you get home from work, creates the perfect conditions for maximum comfort. The absence of electronic controls and the simple plumbing scheme make this system extremely reliable. But please note, it also has to be sized correctly since the solar input cannot easily be adjusted. For example, in northern New Mexico, as a rule of thumb, it takes 10 square feet of collector area to heat 100 square feet of floor in a well-insulated building. Of course, that number can vary quite a bit depending on the building itself, the local climate, and daily sun exposure. That's why we always recommend getting a thorough thermal evaluation by an experienced professional. When the system is running, the ideal incoming temperature from the collectors to the floor is 140 degrees Fahrenheit. We fine tune this temperature using the manual zone valves, and once the proper balance has been found, no further adjustments are necessary, and the system takes care of itself. One great use of the system in the summer when the floor heat is no longer required is to route the heat to your domestic hot water heater using a heat exchanger. Controlled again by two manual zone valves, the incoming heat from the collectors now supplies free heat to your water heater. What could be better than that? This is a seasonal adjustment that prevents the system and your house from overheating in the summer. And as an alternative, the collectors can be partially or fully covered when no heat is required. The absence of a fossil fuel boiler, of course, means there is no backup if the sun doesn't shine. This must be taken into consideration. However, the heat stored in a thermal mass floor can easily get you through a day without sun, and for longer periods, a wood-burning stove or another type of space heater can be used. The collectors can be installed on a south-facing roof or on the ground. A roof mount may require special considerations due to the weight of the collectors. Placing the array on a rack in the ground gives you more flexibility with optimizing the solar angles independent from the orientation of the building and allows for easy maintenance and above all, easy snow removal when you need heat the most. We have this system on our 1100 square foot solar straw bale home in the mountains of New Mexico and its performance is outstanding. We only use our masonry wood burning stove occasionally to heat our home during cloudy days and our use of firewood has dropped to less than half of what we used to heat a 120 square foot cabin.